So now I'm getting ready to trim. Um, for trimming, there's a few things I'm going to need. Obviously, I need a piece that has been thrown and is, is ready to be trimmed. I'm also going to need some trimming tools. I recommend using a small loop tool with a right angle, a large loop tool uh, with a, a rounded shape, a needle tool, and I like to have a couple of ribs or a wooden knife available as well. I'm gonna, I have some stamps to put my name into. You can also write your name on the bottom of the piece with a nice sharp tip of a wooden knife or a um, ballpoint pen. I don't recommend writing your name with a needle tool because it leaves kind of scridgy marks. So trimming a foot is the second process. After we've thrown the shape, we trim a foot onto the bottom so that we get a nice shadow when it sits on the, on the table. It doesn't scratch up the table and it lightens it up both physically and visually. So if you take a look at something like this bowl here, the bottom of this bowl is heavy, it comes down and uh, just is a lot of extra clay all the way down to there. It looks heavy, it is heavy. It's also this edge here that right now is soft clay and I can shape it, is going to eventually be sharp. Um, so you want to take care of, of that uh, with trimming. So this piece is leather hard. Leather hard means that if I put my fingers on it, I don't leave fingerprints, um, but I can still shift it a little bit. It hasn't started to change color. And you can see I can squish the clay, particularly at the foot. So first thing I'm gonna do is center this piece. Actually, first thing I'm gonna do is make sure I have an idea of the interior curve in here, because that's gonna matter when I go to trim it, because I'm gonna want, want the exterior curve to match the interior curve. Then I'm going to center it. This piece is roughly the same size as some of the lines on my wheel head, so that helps me get started. Um, but I can check it um, and make sure it's even more centered um, with, by using the needle tool. So I'm going to start it way off center to get you a sense of what it looks like. When I start spinning, you can see this obviously um, off center. I'm going to hold my needle tool parallel to the wheel head and allow the clay to come, the bowl to come to the needle tool. Notice I'm not moving at all. The clay is coming to me. Then when I stop the, the wheel, I notice that there's a line over here on this side. That's because the clay is further to this side. I'm going to push away from that line and I'll get it around so you can see it on the camera. There's this line that goes from here to here. I'm going to push away from that line towards the center. Then I can wipe away that line. If I want to, I can keep a mark on the top and remind myself, okay, that's the first place that it was off center to. So I'm gonna start, now I'm a whole lot closer, much uh, harder to eyeball it from here. So now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hold my needle tool steady and allow the clay to come to it. And if you notice, it's drawing a line from about here all the way around to about here. So it's just a tiny bit off center. I'm gonna push away from that line and then wipe it away. And now I can check one more time. When I'm completely centered, I should be able to draw a line all the way around without stopping. Now some of you, when you're, some people when they're beginning and you have a piece that's for some reason not quite round itself, not quite centered itself, you'll have to pick a point at which it's basically centered. I'm going to use some wads of wedged clay, um, not sticky clay. Um, I'm going to hold this piece down and I'm going to use these wads to secure it to the wheel head. These wads of clay, um, you want to make sure you don't use those rough edges. That's why I'm, I'm shaping this ball of clay. These wads of clay hold it onto the wheel head so it doesn't go flying when I start the wheel spinning real fast. <coughs> um, I usually use three wads of clay or so. Um, some people, depending on the shape of the bowl, you might need to use more, you might need to use larger or smaller wads. Uh, when the clay starts to change color and become bone dry, it's, it's, it no longer works to use these wads to hold it to the wheel head. So you need to do it at leather hard. 